This video is going to be short because this broth has only two ingredients. Many years ago, one of my farmer friends came storming into my kitchen holding a bunch of melons and was like, I couldn't sell these today and I don't want to carry them back, so here you go. During that time, I was explaining to one of my helpers the virtues of Chinese ham called Jinhua ham and how we use it for soup. I looked at the melons and I looked at the packets of ham and I said, F*** it, let's make a summer broth. I emptied out the flesh of the melon and I cut up the ham and I stuck it into a pot and I just let it boil. For as laid back as my attitude was when making it, the broth turned out pretty amazing. It was sweet and salty and umami. It was light but substantial. It was perfect for a summer drinking broth. To this day, I haven't been able to come up with anything that matches up to this. Maybe because unlike that day, now I'm actually trying. Building on the broth, let's cook a pumpkin in it. And if you're a vegetarian or a vegan, this is your sign that you too deserve to have bone cleavers in your kitchen. It doesn't matter what you're cutting, they're just great fun. See, if I was feeling something, then I wouldn't be feeling it anymore. Braising the pumpkin in the broth in a single layer like this tenderizes the pumpkin so that they can be eaten pretty easily. And it also makes the broth even stronger in flavor. The Japanese call this kabocha no nimono. And while the ingredients for their simmering stock is completely different, the concept is essentially the same. It's a great dish served hot or cold, which makes it perfect for all seasons. And it's just a great side to have in your dinner arsenal.